Thanks to Simply Safe for sponsoring this video. More on them later. The big day. <laughs> Putting our babies in their new home. The last two. Oh. Uh -huh. Well, you happy, babe? Super happy. I can't even begin to explain to you guys how big of a project this was. I'm Trent Palmer. I fly drones for a living and bush planes for fun. Follow along as I journey off the beaten path of aviation. you guys ever have your wife inadvertently sign you up for something that she has no idea how much work she just placed on your shoulders? Well, yeah, this was one of those times. So this all began right at the start of the whole COVID thing when we were just hanging out, staying at home, sitting on the couch. Haley's playing on her phone. She looks over at me and says, I bought eggs. I look at her, I'm like, what do you mean? What kind of eggs? Silk eggs. We've wanted chickens, so let's just hatch them and raise them. She tells me she has nothing else to do. Why not use this time to raise some baby chickens? Now we've discussed having chickens before, but normally just kind of in a joking manner. And realistically, if it were my say, I have a few other things that are kind of higher on the agenda list, like landscaping or building a hangar than trying to raise chickens. But like many things, I didn't have much say in this matter. Happy wife, happy life. So began the venture into having our own chickens. <laughs> Now the incubating process, if I'm honest, is actually kind of interesting because right from I think the first week, the eggs develop an embryo that you can see by just shining a flashlight through it. They call it candling and it's kind of a trip. It's like, looks like there's like a little alien in there moving around. It's actually pretty cool. And ours actually came a day late. I think they hatched on day 22. That one's gonna go. Now of the 12 eggs that we put in the incubator, only seven of them looked like they had an embryo and then actually six really were the ones that we went into the hatching period hoping that they would hatch. Out of those six, only three did hatch. So our attempt at hatching didn't really have the best success rate. And because we do want more than just three chickens overall, cause we don't even know these aren't sexed. We don't know if they're gonna be roosters or hens and it would suck if we ended up with like two roosters and one hen. So we went down to the feed store and bought four more chicks. So our first run at hatching did not have the best success rate. So out of the 12 eggs, we ended up with three that hatched. One ended up getting sick and dying. So we ended up with two. That was 50 bucks for that 12 eggs. And then we spent 150 bucks on an incubator. So we ended up spending $200 on two chicks or $100 a chick. And then we went to the feed store and we bought four more for three bucks each. I think we probably should have gone to the feed store the first time. Now that we have seven little chicks, we need somewhere to put them. And of course, Haley's not content with any of the chicken coops that we could find that you can just buy and assemble. She wanted something fancier. So she went and found one online called the DIY Modern Chicken Coop and Haley somehow signed me up to build a whole chicken coop from scratch. Now aside from this coop just looking good, there was a few other things that actually made it a good fit for us. One was the size, it's not too big but not too small. It's supposed to house I think like eight chickens so it's right in the right range for what we're looking for. It also looked pretty robust so it should handle the snow loads and the wind that we get out here which was a plus. And the last big thing was that it looked like it was secure from predators getting into there because we do have a ton of coyotes out here. We also have bobcats and there's mountain lions that scroll through as well. So we figured we needed something that was protected from all sides so this ended up being the most secure and safe solution. Now while on the topic of keeping things safe and secure, it's time that I take a second to tell you guys about the sponsor of this video, Simply Safe. Most of you guys are probably aware that we live in a pretty remote or rural area that's pretty safe as far as home invasions and theft goes. Plus the fact that pretty much everyone out here likes to exercise their second amendment rights for home security, which normally keeps thieves and intruders away, that really only works when you're home. So I have been on a quest for a home security system for a while now. Simply Safe ended up fitting my needs perfectly. Simply Safe is incredibly effective, reliable home security that will make sure that your home is safe. You just order it online or over the phone and it's delivered right to your home and you set it up yourself in under an hour. You just stick the sensors exactly where you need them, 
From there on, your home is professionally monitored 24-7. If anything happens, they'll make sure the police get called. It's all really easy to use and you get around the clock protection for just 50 cents a day with no contracts. Setup's incredibly easy. I was able to get the whole system up and running in less than an hour. That's including the keypad, door lock, base station, door sensors, fire and carbon monoxide sensors, as well as flood and freeze sensors, which I placed in my crawl space. To make sure I don't end up with any costly repairs from a frozen or leaky pipe. Using the system is just as easy. I can monitor and control my security from anywhere and know that I'm protected at all times. So go visit simplysafe.com forward slash Trump Palmer to learn more. Thanks again, Simply Safe, for sponsoring this video. Let's go build a chicken coop. Wake up and listen to my anthem. Tune out the noises from my past and look up, remember where my help comes from. Yeah. Push back, I'm tired of feeling broken. Truth rings louder than emotion. Take time, remember what it means to love. Yeah. Here's another chance to see the change we need. See a miracle when we walk these streets. Living life in the light, redefining the land of the fray. I can feel. You've been better than I've been to myself Yeah Lay down my weapons for the wisdom Sing loud the voice that I've been given So loud, believe until the walls come down Yeah Here's another chance to see the change we need See a miracle when we walk these streets Living life in the light, redefining the land of the free Okay, I'm so glad to have that thing done with. I did not expect this whole chicken thing to take up not only like, what is it? It's been two months of getting the chicks to where they are now, but also another five full days of building. And I think we have about $750 into the chicken coop. Uh, luckily we did have some extra siding from our house laying around as well as the standing seam metal roof. So a couple of those like finishes that actually made the coop look really nice didn't cost us anything because we already had the material sitting around. But I cannot tell you how excited I am to get those things out of our garage. They're making a dusty mess in here and get them into their new chicken Palace is basically what it is now. All right, guys, I'm gonna wrap this one up here. And I'm gonna get back to flying. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Again, little break from the flying stuff, but still the fun rural off-grid, not off-grid, but kind of rural ranch life. 
type stuff I know some of you guys are fascinated with. So anyway, you guys know the drill. Like this video if you do. Subscribe if you haven't. Come be my wingman. See you on the next one. Peace.